Hello friends, I had a Walmart haul planned for you guys today. I'm still planning on doing it very soon, but the bulk of my order got delayed. We are actually having really, really bad weather in upstate South Carolina. Um, like I've lived here for almost 29 years and I have never seen the flooding like this. So I think that's kind of why. Ended up hitting up my Target and I was like, let's do a random haul. I've got some jeans. I've got a lot of really good beauty finds. So I will have everything numbered on screen and linked in the description bar and the pinned comment below. So it is very easy to shop. And and my cat is also joining me and Doug. You guys really loved them in the last video. So you see them wandering in and out. That is what they are doing. But I bought two pairs of jeans. I'm really struggling with Levi jeans. They're some of my favorites, but man, the sizing is inconsistent and regular in, in one kind of jean will not be irregular in another. So Finally, I found the Levi's section at Target. We got a new manager or something because the Target on Wade Hampton is immaculate. I've never seen it so clean in my life. It's usually disgusting. So I actually was able to go through their jeans. These are the 94 baggy. I've never purchased from this line before. Um, I have a 30 inch inseam and these are a 27 and then a 31 length. I'm looking for a pair of jeans that are like straight leg, but not super, super wide. And I'm looking for a certain length and I just can't seem to find them. I'm really, I'm really struggling with Levi's. So um, I have a 30 inch inseam and I figured since these are a 31 length, we would kind of try those, but I don't know because they're mid rise, if the 27 will fit because I usually size up in Levi's. And the other day I got a pair that were my true size and they were too big. So much as I love Levi jeans, y'all, it is a time trying to find your right size. And then these are the rib cage straight ankle. These are a super high rise and it says slim through the hip and thigh. And the length to these is a 27. So I thought maybe these would be cropped. <laughs> I don't know. I have been putting them up on the screen so you guys will see if they're wins or loses, but, or I guess like wins or fails, but I just, yeah, my, I was really, I've been, I've been a little disappointed. I love Levi jeans, but like it should not be that hard to find just a good pair of jeans that are the right length. They also, because it was the cleanest this Target has ever been, had their Valentine's Day stuff out. So I got this adorable little heart sweater. We don't usually go out and celebrate Valentine's Day. It's just not mine and my husband's favorite thing. Um, but they had some really cute, like they had a cute sweatshirt that said, don't go break in my heart. They had this, they had a red sweater. So they had a lot of options and I just thought this would be super cute um, and just a little different, but like trendy. I did get it in the small. I can tell that it is cropped and I think the small is gonna fit great. So I grabbed that and I am so excited to wear it for Valentine's Day. And then the rest of this was beauty stuff. So some of this stuff is like random things that I have seen on TikTok. Some of these are restocks, but this is literally just secret deodorant. I absolutely love Saltaire deodorant. It's my favorite like non-toxic deodorant, but it is impossible to find a refill for that in store. Um, and I like native deodorant, but it's just not my most favorite. I desperately needed some, like it was, I could not leave without deodorant. So I got this um, there today and this is just kind of an emergency backup until my Saltaire deodorant refill comes in because I had to order it online. I will say there is a dermatologist, it's not Derm Guru, um, I will link her in the description bar below who I have followed. She talked about this body wash that has benzoyl peroxide in it and helps get rid of any odor under your underarms. Um, and one of the things she talked about, which makes complete sense is she was like, yes, like if you wear deodorant, it covers up that smell, but the smell comes from bacteria and you need to kill that bacteria. While I am not someone who usually smells, I just have a, like, I sweat a lot. I thought that would be nice because you just never know and just killing all that bacteria. It's really nice. So I have actually purchased that um, before and I use it on my underarms all the time. I'll link that below, but I did want to just go off of my little spiel there about deodorant. Like it was very, it, it made sense. Like, of course you have to kill the bacteria that is under there that just makes you stink. Um, and yeah, it makes a huge difference again, although I'm not someone who usually like stinks when I sweat. Next up, I got these uh, makeup remover Neutrogena wipes. Honestly, I just use these when I'm putting my makeup on because if you guys have ever watched me do it on Instagram, 
I put makeup on the back of my hand. Um, sometimes I'll put bronzer there to warm it up before I tap it on my hand. And I just hate like having makeup there. It's also nice sometimes like if you get, you know, eye makeup all over the place. So I do keep makeup wipes readily available and these are hands down my favorite brand. I've tried others. I mean, makeup wipes are really makeup wipes, but I think those are like the softest and they last really long even after you open the package. I don't find that they dry easily. A repurchase, no doubt. Mighty Patches, the original. I. Honestly, I always pick these up when I go to the store because just I get onesie twosie breakouts and these get rid of them so quickly. I did see they have retinol patches now that can help with wrinkles and I would be very intrigued to know if those work, but I can't try them out for you guys because I have Botox so it wouldn't it wouldn't really make a difference. This is the Multi Correction Revive and Glow Eye Balm with Vitamin C. It says it's a cooling and hydrating eye balm. One of my goals this year is to really, really get rid of this rosacea if I can. Um, I am totally planning on doing IPL laser because I know that that's something that can really help get rid of it for a very long period of time. But I do still want to find skincare that seems to help that redness in the meantime. And vitamin C makes a huge difference in my redness. Since I've started really taking that serious, that is something that I've noticed like my redness has gone down a lot. So when I saw this had vitamin C in it and can be used on your eyes, I was like, yes, I need to try. Okay, so there's no scent to this and it is extremely soft. It says swipe around the eye area AM and or PM. So I'm excited to see if that makes a difference. Um, I like that it doesn't have a scent to it, but honestly on the back of my hand, it doesn't feel super cooling like it says, um, like it says cooling and hydrating, but keep y'all updated. I really love the Gold Bond products that I've tried, like all of them. And this is just a healing hand cream with aloe. It said it lasts through hand washing. There is not a single product that I have tried from Gold Bond that I have thought was mediocre. I have felt like they are all absolutely incredible. So I bought this because I just need a lotion. Like I gotta keep one in my car or something. My hands are so dry this time of year. Mm, smells good. This is the Gillette Fusion 5. Like it's just razor blade refills. There's nothing fancy about these. It's my husband's razor blades. Now this is something I randomly picked up because I want to see if this helps. Cetaphil is actually, it says dermatologist recommended for sensitive skin. And this was actually the face wash that my dermatologist recommended years ago for me. But it was when I had acne. She was like, you have serious acne. If you're going to use, you know, we went through a couple different things. She was like, I like Cetaphil face wash. It's my favorite. And so this is actually the one I used. It's the daily facial cleanser for combination to oily sensitive skin. It said it deep cleans and minimizes appearance of pores without stripping skin of natural moisture. So I'm going to use this one again and see if maybe that can also help. Um, there are a lot of things that are at play with rosacea and ultimately it is something that if you truly want your rosacea gone, you're going to have to, um, um, you know, kind of go a little bit more of an esthetician route, like get treatments, whether it's peels or lasers or something. Uh, but I want to try this in the meantime and see if it does make a difference. And then this actually was something I found from Derm Guru. I know a lot of you guys really like her on TikTok. This is the Hydro Boost Hyaluronic Acid Water Gel. She said this is super, super hydrating. And I actually used this years ago. So I was like, let's try it again. Let's see what the deal is. <laughs> see Tuck. He had a little bark and fit a minute ago. So he's now hanging out next to me convinced that someone's here. But this is a really lightweight water gel. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. The consistency of this, it honestly reminds me a little bit of the snail mucin all in one cream um, without that like real tacky sticky feeling. Um, so it's very lightweight and cooling on the back of my hand. I don't know why I just went to smell it. <laughs> But I am going to start trying that as well. And again, just see if it can make a difference. That was like one of my big, big, big goals this year was um, just, just finally get rid of this rosacea. I'm kind of over how ridiculously red my cheeks are. Uh, so we'll see if any of this works. I'll keep you guys updated. Thank you all so much for watching this super random and very casual haul. Usually my hauls aren't like me on the floor with, you know, just a hat on in the rain out. It's just usually a little bit more formal, but we're making it work today. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and come back for my Walmart haul whenever my Walmart stuff shows up. Mm -hmm.